Hey, it's October 6th. Welcome to the vlog. It's the middle of the night. I'm eating grits and lamb. Thanks, Mom. I'm just gonna eat this and I'll get back to you because I'm dead. Good morning again, my family spoonies and everyone else and also Dell dogs. I've got a Levi down there and I've got Adele and me up here having cuddles. First, I want to thank you guys for the amazing comments and encouragement that I received on my last video, voicing my frustrations about social media and stuff. It made me feel like I could keep going and I appreciate that. I also wanted to update you. So basically yesterday, the 5th, I spent the entire day in psychosis. I had plans with my good friend and it just didn't happen again and i hate canceling on people multiple times all the memes about chronic illness people not being shady and that they're just sick like please believe them and i know my friend believes me because she's also sick i lose gaps of time and memory and what psychosis looks like for me is like two things either complete shutdown or like i'm like in a ball and like shuddering or i'm like hysterical like hysteria think about a drug addict coming down off of opiates and then that's basically what happens to me. And it's really exhausting. I slept all day until like 8.30 and then I ended up working some things out with my mom to try and make some changes around here to help me feel a little better. So I believe what causes those things are Babesia and uh, Bartonella, which are two other co-infections that go along with Lyme disease. So the reason why I call myself co-infection queen is because Lyme disease, Babesia, Epstein-Barr virus, and um, Bartonella are four co-infections that I struggle with. They are the gatekeepers of my body which is why like I keep saying cuz I'm so excited did you want to be in the vlog do you want to say hi to the vlog Maybe says hi. that's why I'm going to INIM because I cannot even get IV fluid without having allergic reaction to the needle prick and the fluids that go in and just like the change in the body my the co-infections are just like I send my cells to the source which is everywhere you know that scene in Spongebob when he's like, the name, the name, and like in his head, there's just everything is like on fire and everyone's filing things away in different places and shredding stuff. And that's my brain when I'm in psychosis. Even though I missed Vlogtober day five, as always and usual, I'll bring you around with me and we'll see what we get up to. Also, hi friends and family that are close to me if you're watching. Thank you for helping me and understanding and all that. Here you go, buddy. I made it outside in the backyard. I made it to see my doggies play. Yeah. Murphy, leave it. Thank you. Good boy. Iris, are you having a good morning? Yeah? You got this stick? Oh, that looks like a really good stick or a piece of a dead animal. Wow. All right, Murphy, now that everybody's done having the zoomies, Murphy gets to go free. Free, go play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we buy. Where am I? I'm right here. Girl, Iris. Get it, Iris. They're playing good. Go outside, play with the rope. <laughs> Murphy gets one kibbles at a time, and he's so good. Oh, Murphy can. That one for Poppy? Poppy, not so gentle. <laughs> no. Poppy's learning. Good girl, Poppy. Yeah. Good gentle. Yes, Iris is so good. How are you doing today, my handsome man? Do you have a rash on your neck, but it doesn't slow you down one bit? Are you filthy? Did you go outside and play in the dirt? Oh yeah, I know you love baths. I could just film you panting all day, you little handsome devil. Do you love your baby Kong? Are you a baby Kong kind of guy? Baby Kong forever. Baby Kong forever. With supervised play only. Oh, but you got it. Pretty girl. Del, you're so good. It's 10 a.m. I'm chilling in the den, which I hardly ever do. Green apple with no skin. I'm watching Hell's Kitchen. Some good old Gordon Ramsay. I'm about to have real breakfast. I'm trying to let myself relax a little. 
because I feel like I might be able to. Such a scavenger mm -hmm. that sometimes one piece of kibble gets underneath the bowl inside that under tray mm -hmm. and she will not rest. She will push that whole container around the room until she gets the bowl flipped up and finds the one mm -hmm. little bit of kibble that's actually laying in a puddle of water oh and it's God. so dissolved you can barely even find it. But she's relentless. Poppy is the fiercest. And she throws herself down like that on purpose. I know. It's a riot. <laughs> Currently watching Born Behind Bars, which is really interesting actually. You should watch it. Thanks for my foods. I eat it all. I am full and drowsy, so I'm gonna try and take a nap. I hope your Saturday went well. It's the post eating itchies. Just in time to take. I take this nasal crom stuff and it really brings down the inflammation in my face. You have to see the most expert way to take nose stuff. You can't just stand here and squirt it up your nose. It's not good enough. Sometimes it's easier for me to put one leg up here if you're not very close. Put your head like this. Well, first you should spray, just like get it going. Then put your head like this. And the idea is to see your head straight up and down. And then Squirt it in, do another test to get it going again. And I just like sit for like a couple of seconds. And that's how you do it. And you'll notice a huge difference in the way you use nasal, like, make nasal sprays. Like they actually like work when you do it like that instead of like work for five minutes. Okay, gonna go take a nap. Bye. It's around, no! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. It's around nine o'clock or 9.30 or something. I slept five ever. Oh, it's 10.30. Great. I'm on the couch with Princess. Puppies are out. You've missed nothing other than I have developed now a sore throat. I slept for way longer than I thought I was going to, but here we are. I'm watching the Alyssa Edwards Dance Company show and healing me from all of the abuse that I suffered in dance studios growing up. <laughs> oh, I love this baby. Ow. That's my baby girl. Yes. Thank you. I am blessed. <laughs> I am blessed. I'm just basically taking medicine and making myself comfortable and then the goal is to try and eat something. I literally, well, I, this is why I have a hard time vlogging, but I'm doing it anyways because I feel like I just wake up and I eat and then sometimes I go outside. <laughs> Update, still on the couch, ate some food, which I'll show you right here. And now I'm drinking. I was like really in the mood for some lemonade and oh my God. Iris is rude, but this lemonade's good. That's it. I'm still watching the Dancing Queen show. Gonna try and take some pills soon. Just take a whole fistful, eventually. The good news is I made it back to my bed. The bad news is I have like five or six pills stuck right here. And it's extremely uncomfortable. But that's what you get when your esophagus is small and da da. <sighs> I'm just gonna edit and try and go back to sleep because if I let my sleep schedule get off, then my life will just generally be in more shambles. I'm just trying to listen to my body right now. Daisy, would you like to say goodbye to the vlog? Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. <laughs> Daisy, are you there in the big blue house? Well, you're the right color. Mm hmm I love Daisy. And Murphy says hi! Hi, Murphy! Murphy! In case you don't know Murphy, he is my nephew, and we are fostering him while his mommy is in China because in the town that she's in, dogs are illegal. What? Crazy. Huh, Murphy can. Murphy, did you have a good day? Huh?
Murphy is a happy guy, happy guy. Murphy is a happy guy, happy guy. Daisy, you ready for me to help you? All right, here's how we get. Oh, teamwork. <laughs> okay, bye. Thanks for watching. Vlogtober. See you next time where possibly I'll do something fun.